A dispute over water has been settled in time for the new school year in one local community. But as Tracy Lair reports, work on the $275 million school project is still underway. When the Oxnard Union High School District held a rare weekend meeting, the board announced plans to open Del Sol High School with or without water, sewer, and storm drain connections. Oxnard City Manager said that authorization usually comes after the approval of an off-site traffic management plan. The district had a backup plan in place to truck water and rent portable toilets for Del Sol, but that will no longer be necessary. At this point, uh, making the water situation worse is not useful. We should be concerned about bare bones public safety and we can't take uh, cut corners on that. The city agreed to all the connections as long as the district meets its safety obligations on the roads surrounding the school. It's, it's an imperfect solution to meet the needs of the school district. But I do want to emphasize this all along this has been about safety. The city manager says the lack of a licensed traffic engineer for a project of this magnitude astounded his city staff. Oxnard Union announced it will complete crosswalk striping and turn on traffic signal lights at the main entrance Tuesday and have crossing guards before and after school for the next two months. We came together for better communication. Go Jaguars. The school with the Jaguars mascot will soon serve students from Rose Park, Lemonwood, and La Colonia. We have about 475 freshmen expecting maybe 500 through the doors on Wednesday morning, and each year we'll add a class until uh, this freshman class will actually uh, be seniors when we have a full school of about 2,000 students. The city and the district are urging drivers to drive safely in what is now a school zone. In Oxnard, I'm News Channel reporter Tracy Lair.